subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Early Sunday update chart coming. Sony, the studio responsible for delivering Dwayne Johnson's biggest movie at the domestic box office of all time earlier this year, Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle 404.5 million dollars, beat the family action star's skyscraper this weekend with their family animated film, Hotel Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation, 44.1 million dollars to 25.4 million dollars. The animated feature, efficiently budgeted at reportedly $80 million before P&A, contributes to summer's franchise momentum fueled by Incredibles 2, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, Avengers Infinity War and Deadpool 2, and at a start that currently marks the second best domestic opening for the Adam Sandler Vampire animated series behind Hotel Transylvania 2 $48.4 million. Sony is looking forward to some great weekday business on what is arguably the last mass-appealing animated pick of the summer. The threequel is no doubt bound to be more profitable than its predecessor which reaped $159.5 million in black ink off of $473.2 million WW box office. What Sony has pulled off here with HT3 that is admirable and commercially great for the franchise is that they've shown that they can play the Halloween-ish property, normally a staple at the autumn B.O. During the summer months. There are challenges when moving from September to summer, but the concept of the movie, Monsters on Vacation, is a multi-generational one that really works for this season, said Josh Greenstein. President of Sony Worldwide Marketing and Distribution. In regards to the destruction of Dwayne Johnson's skyscraper, we detailed extensively in our previous post what went down here, but overall, chalk it up to a tired die hard redux plus the fact that we've seen a lot of Johnson in the last six months with Dumanji and Rampage grossing a total combined of $1.4 billion at the Global BO in addition. HT3 and the second weekend of Disney slash Marvel's Ant-Man and the Wasp, estimated at $29.5 million, also steamrolled over skyscrapers opening. H.T. 3 with its Sandler-esque sense of humor he co-wrote the second chapter and served as EP on the first two picks already has a built-in audience. The threequel skewed more older than the second meaning the fans grew up at 57% over 25 to 48% over 25, meaning it plays to that older Pixar fan crowd, the pick isn't just intended for handholder crowds meaning very young kids. HT3 was female driven or mom driven just like HT2, 63% to 38% males. Under 18 here, who gave it a solid A was 36% to HT2's 45% A. The under-25 demo on HT3 also gave the Gandhi Tartakovsky directed movie a solid A, up from their grade for HT2 which was an A. Similar to HT2, Hispanic audiences were a vital quadrant to the success of HT3. This time around Sony ran a custom promotion across Univision celebrating summer vacation with the threequel and Drax pack through high-impact executions in key, relevant programming. Elements included custom monster crews and monster match vignettes with network talent interacting with the Pix characters in animated settings. Also, weekly in show Despierta America segments showcased fun vacation packing and dance-off challenges over the last month as well as testimonials urging viewers to go out and see the movie with their whole family. There were custom TV spots for the Royal Wedding, Father's Day, World Cup Spanish Spot, Memorial Day, and 4th of July. The campaign also played on the Friday the 13th release date. Other fun stunts included a summer dance craze with Hotel Dance Alvania routine, choreographed to the Pix Float Dance Mix song. The broadcast debut of this ran on NBC's World of Dance with last season's champions slash contestant Slate Wins, Diana Pombo, fiction busting moves inspired by Drax Pack. There were also bonus airings across Bravo, E! and USA.
There was also a Hotel Dancelvania vignette featuring Lil DD and friends that aired on Cartoon Network. Other highlights from this week in Annapurna's Sorry to Bother You broke into the top 10 in 7th place with a fantastic $4.3 million.